Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us reflect on the 30th Sunday in the ordinary time. God wants the best for us. The narrative of the first reading gives us God's action of restoration. God's will of gathering again His people. At the very beginning of the first reading says, Shout for joy. Exult at the head of nations. Sing praise. You see, these are statements of joy. These are statements describing the consolation, the restoration, the blessings of God upon His people. The gospel is a fulfillment to the message of the first reading in a very personal character. Bartimaeus, a blind man in the imagery in the scriptures blindness can be an image of a person all of us in sin in darkness and so a blind man encountering the healer the sinner encountering the savior and therefore the savior comes to meet Bartimaeus and ask him what do you want me to do for you I want us to capture this question of Jesus in a very personal way to you and I. Jesus is asking us, what do you want me to do for you? Let us imitate the disposition and the humility and contrition of Bartimaeus. Lord, that I may see. He knows his blindness. He knows his inadequacies. He knows his weakness. He knows who he is. And so in that need, he tells Jesus what he needs. Lord, that I may see. So today in this 30th Sunday ordinary time, I would like us, you and I, in the Mass, we can say, Lord, I have many blindnesses. Make me able to see your will. Lord, I am weak in living out the Christian life. Make me strong. Lord, I am superficial in my faith and trust in you and love of you. Therefore, make me be able to learn deeper trust and be able to relate to you in a way that I truly give in into your divine life. Lord, I have many problems at this time. Please guide me, enlighten me that I may be able to find solutions. Whatever you have at this very moment, this is the time, this is the opportunity to tell the Lord. Jesus is asking us, what do you want me to do for you? This is because He, he wants the best for us. God is concerned for what is advantageous and favorable for us. And that is why and in the second reading, we are being told about the priesthood. The priest is chosen from among the people and he is to offer sacrifices for sins, meaning that the priest becomes a representative of the people to God and the representative of, the, of God to his people. Therefore, the priest is bearer of good things, of graces from God to us. And that is why we are to see to it that in relation to the mother church, in relation to the priesthood, we are being assured of God's blessings continually overflowing to our lives, to the life of the church, to the life of the parish. And that is why the very celebration of the sacraments, the, pra the very prayers that we do in church, and the prayers that the ordained ministers do, they are for our benefit, for the benefit of the life of the church. Because with all that God does, they are for our advantage, for our benefit, for our interest. And so for this 30th Sunday ordinary time, I want us to consider two things in response to the Word of God. First of all, we have to develop and build up more our 
trust in God, our faith in God, build up more our seeking of Jesus Christ and trying to listen to the Word of God, trying to put into practice His teachings. You see, in the Gospel, as Jesus asked Bartimaeus, what do you want me to do for you? And Bartimaeus responded to it by saying, Lord, that I may see. So also, we have to see to it that in every moment of our existence, God has our best interest. Therefore, we cannot hesitate to always go to God in everything and in anything that we go through in life. Go to Jesus. Go to God. In good times, be grateful. In bad times, be trustful. In difficult times, be faithful. Because the Lord is always there. All our troubles and sufferings, when we bear them, when we reflect on them, when we go through them, God is increasing us rather than diminishing us. That is why keep trusting in God, keep believing in God, keep being faithful to God because God has our best interest. The second thing we have to do is like Bartimaeus, after being healed, he did not go on his way. He followed Jesus on the way. Remember, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It means Bartimaeus lived the life of Christ. It means Bartimaeus put into practice the teachings of the Lord. It means he practiced, he lived out his faith in Jesus. To you and I in our time and context, be reminded that the fullness of our Christian life is when we have become another Christ in our mentality, in our behavior, in our words, in our relationship with others. And therefore, let us persevere in making our lives indeed Christ-like. We have to follow Jesus faithfully. We have to listen to Jesus and put into practice His teachings. There are many words, many voices in our time uh, trying to uh, take our attention. Listen only to the voice of Jesus and follow His lead. The saints did that. We have also to do the same. To you and I, in this 30th Sunday Ordinary Time, never doubt in the goodness of God. Never doubt in the love of God. But in our life, make our life pleasing to God. Make our life ever in the journey of faithfully obeying and following Jesus. God bless. In the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. And please subscribe if you have not done so. Give us a thumbs up and share this video to others.